Well, hello, hello, hello. It is LaTanya Washington here, your customer journey strategist, college instructor, as well as the owner of The Customer Culture. And so today, you all, I want to talk about why customers do not buy, because many times we go in, especially if you are a business owner, you are this entrepreneur, you are this um, business professional, and you have a passion to uh, provide a product or a service to your particular audience. Um, and you're doing this because it's something that you love, you are passionate about it, you have the skills to produce all of these amazing things. And many times we're going after, of course, um, our customers. You're going after a particular clientele um, because at the end of the day, you all, you want people to purchase your product or your service, right? That's exactly why we do business. And in order for a business to grow, it has to have one transactions happening it has to continuously connect to the customers or clients that you already have how do you do that i want to talk about that a little bit and then of course you want to be always having in new client clients or customers coming through the door there's another way in which we do that as well and so um i i say this because we're talking about many times we ask the questions, where are the customers? How do I get more customers? Yada, 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 yada. But as I always talk about you all, even when we talk about the customer journey, the question now has to become why customers do not buy. That literally is the right question because the mentality of us, because guess what? You're a customer too. Have you thought about why you did not purchase from a person or you did not purchase a particular product or you did not enroll in a membership? You, you got to start thinking like your customers, your clientele. This is going to really, really help you in the long run because let's talk a little bit about the mentality of the customer the mentality of the customer but along with that you all make sure you like this um video make sure you subscribe share it with other people other business owners other entre entrepreneurs that you know need to hear this on today okay um i definitely appreciate it also if um you have any questions for me send me a a message, leave a comment below, or send me an email at ask at latanyawashington.com. All right. So now, as you already know, if you're like me and if you're building your brand, you're part of um, trying to put a plan together, you're doing all these things, make sure you're writing everything down, you all, because there are times when you have to go back and take another look and um, start mapping a lot of things out. We can't do anything, you all, without a master plan. All right. And so I wanted to pull this out because, of course, I always leave my notes here. So what we talk about, you guys, why customers do not buy? That's the right question. All right. So as you're stepping out, you have your brand. My, my question to you as well, um, as I said previously in other videos, what is the purpose behind your brand? What is it that you're doing? Is it purposeful? Is it to serve? Is it to um, provide some type of way people's um, people's solutions their solutions for people out here in the market. Are you touching on their pain points, whether it is something that's paining them and they need to get something fixed or it's just simply something that they desire? That's another question you want to begin to ask yourself. All right. And so now you all let's get down to the customer because whether you believe it or know this or not, in the mentality of the customer, they have a pattern. All right. So here's the key. And let's let's look at this. Why people do not buy, why customers do not buy. It could be number one, something about your brand they just don't like. Um, 
I don't know what it could be or there it's not something that they're searching for. OK, it could be multiple multiple factors that are impacting the way in which they purchase some something could be they don't like what it is that you're producing. Maybe if you have what they want, but maybe it's not giving them everything that they need. It could be that they're literally evaluating. Um, hmm the price tag. It could be multiple reasons that could be impacting um, the reason why initially people do not buy. All right. And so you have to be able to look at, remember, is a cold audience, you're going to have a warm audience and you're going to have an hot audience. But whatever your brand is, I want you to be mindful of this. It's not going to serve everyone. Get that in your head right now. It's not for everyone. And it is okay because when you find the people that really, really want your product, they will stick around as long as you're providing them what it is that they want or what it is that they desire. Okay. Um, and so that's the first thing you all, the mentality of the customer. Maybe it's something that you provide, they just don't want, and you have to be okay with that. Now, the next thing is you have to understand whatever it is that you're doing. Now you're looking at people are, who are thinking about, mm, you're showing up, your brand is out here, whether people see you on social media, they met you at a networking function, something about what it is that you provide is appealing to them. Now what happens is they become what? They become interested because let, let's talk about this a little bit especially when you're out in the public eye and you're networking or you're on your social media platforms, you all, you need to be letting people know what it is that you do. Don't just be on here posting your cats and your dogs and you out at the beach, especially if that's not part of what you are purposeful or what your purpose to do out here in the market. There are times you, you have to let people know what it is that you're doing. That's part, you all, of brand awareness. People have to be aware of what it is that you provide. All right. And so you want to be able to show up, let people know what it is that you provide. Otherwise, they'll never know. And as we always said, that closed mouth never gets fed. And so in the process of this brand awareness and people are seeing what it is that you're doing, you have other people that may have also purchased your product and they're letting other people know um, what it is that you provide and how they enjoyed it. You know, what begins to happen, remember the mentality of a customer. Now they're beginning to show some interest. I cannot say this enough, how much consistency and showing up matters. All right. Because now you have to understand we're in the age of the internet. AI is now here. And so people have the options to pick and choose wherever they choose to go. All right. So now we're talking about once again, why customers do not buy mm -hmm. once maybe you have something that they don't want. Um, that is just fine. That's not your audience. You don't want them anyway, because at the end of the day, you want loyal customers. You want loyal clientele. The next thing happens, the mentality, you're showing up, you're being consistent, you're sharing educational information, or you're sharing tutorials, or you have people utilizing your product and people are loving it. Now what begins to happen? They begin to show interest. All right. Now, it could be they may have never thought about it before, but all of a sudden, oh, my goodness, what you're providing is something that they're like, oh, you know, I never thought about that before. But it's something that I really could use or I might really want to use it in the future. Now they're looking at, OK, you know what people begin to do? they start searching for you even more. But if you're not showing up consistently, what happens? People can't find you 
or they move along the way. And, and the thing is, right then and there, you could have sparked their interest, but because you are no longer showing up, They'll go searching for someone else who's doing the same thing you are doing. OK, and so you want to be mindful, even when people are beginning to show interest. What do I need to do? Well, you have to be able to engage with people. Now, um, there are ways in which you can begin to evaluate how people um, are showing interest. And what you do is you can do things like um, ask people to leave a comment. If you're on your social media platform, ask people to leave a DM in your inbox. Another thing we begin to do is people who are showing interest, if it's something that you have available, we call what we do is many times a lead magnet because the most of the time when people begin to show interest you all they are that warm lead or that warm audience and so you want to be able to have something available that pulls them in that you can give them or you know it could be you have this YouTube channel and you have other videos or you have a sample product that you can provide to people or you have a downloadable that you can give them. That is how you begin to pull people in you all that are showing some interest. Why do people not buy? All right, because you are not showing up. All right. Or what did I say previously? So let's let's continue on you all in the process. All right. So another thing begins to happen, you all, and you'll begin to see. And so you want to start putting these things in place, especially with your brand strategy. So a lot of times, even when we're putting ourselves out here in the market, you all, you want to make sure things are in place before you start going out and saying, this is what I do. This is my product. This is what I provide. Make sure you're setting everything else. This is why we always talk about the strategic plan. Um, what goal did you have set for yourself in the first place? See, that's a whole nother topic and I'm going to keep that for later. All right. We're going to talk about that later as well. All right. And so what begins to happen, you guys, when you have things in place, remember people begin to show some interest when they show interest, you all, what do they do as well? Think about you. What do you do when you begin to show interest? People start hanging around. Now they are looking for more information. Oh my goodness, whatever it is that you offer, they're here. They're here for all of it. They hang around. Understand the mentality of the customer, the mentality of the clientele. You all, there are patterns and they don't change. Well, they can change depending, behaviors can change. But when we begin to look at patterns of people, it starts with you showing up, you um, making people aware of what it is that you have. And now if they are the right people, they begin to show interest, all right? And then as they begin to show interest, you all, tr 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 trust me, <clears throat> trust me when I tell you. Even when they're showing interest and they start thinking about something, what do we do? Mm, trust me, we're also comparing, we're evaluating the functionality of a thing. We're looking at the price tag of a thing. But if you are consistently pulling people in, providing something in, because at the end of the day, you all, you have to understand this as well. In order to get, you're going to have to give. Remember we talked about previously, maybe you have a sample of something that you can give. Maybe you have that downloadable. Maybe you have a tutorial. Maybe you have something. Think about all of these things as you're putting together your brand. All right. You have to give to get, give to get. All right. Um, be mindful of these things. And in the process, even if people are searching other people out, let me tell you, when you begin to gather their information, you all, and you begin to connect, even some people even do a what we call a discovery call. In a discovery call, many times you're you're evaluating what it is that they're looking for. Now, if you're good and you develop the skill, you'll be able to break down exactly what it is that they are searching for it, let them talk to you. And then being able to discover what it is that they they need, but help them 
help you, as we say many times. Let them begin to share more and more about what it is that they're searching for or what it is that pains them the most and how maybe they're trying to elevate up in the market or it could be they're searching for a new trampoline for their their kids or their grandchildren help people in the process this is where it's very vital for you to be able to discover what it is that they're looking for now guess what you're able to provide them the solution all right so now we don't give them we're able to provide the solution but remember you're still looking to make them a, a customer or a client so you can share with them the solution but of course there's still steps that they have to take that you both have to go through in order for them to get to the solution all right that's the same way even as you're building your brand remember you had this goal in mind it could be revenue it could be um this is what i'm looking to put out in the market this is what i'm looking to do but guess what there were steps in order for you to get to the goal same thing goes for your customer the the thing is here it is you are the the guy guiding them to get to the solution all right so you have to remember those things now it, after the discovery of what it is that they're searching for and you're realizing and you're helping them um 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 of course not finding the solution yet but you're letting them know what that solution can be or that solution will be now guess what you have got them to the point where they feel okay i need this person i've been searching i've been comparing them to other people from the price tag to what it is that they offer the functionality of a system or whatever now guess what happens people convert all right because what you've taken them from the process of getting to know you now getting to like you now at that state of conversion you all they feel they can trust you all right so now it goes to that state of conversion all right remember why people do not buy they don't buy many times because they don't even know you they don't buy many times because um they don't like you because you're not consistent and you're not showing up and um they're still trying to figure Mm -mm, I ain't for sure. I don't know about this. Um, and so there lies the process of it all. So you have to take them through the pattern because it's the mentality you all of the customer. The next thing you know, we've gone to the state of conversion. But guess what, you guys, because you can't stop there. You do not want to stop there because you still want people to be loyal. The most, most, oh my God, they say the most, most customers are loyal customers. Because not only is it that what it is that you have for them, they know it's good. All right. Because they're now convert, they converted, they purchased your product. Now, guess what? They purchased your product now. What you think they got to do? They got to try this product. Now they're trying this product. Does this product really do what it says it's going to do? Did this product break down? Did the people that purchased, that sold me this product, where are they? Did they leave me? You know, what's going on? Because you have to remember there's still competition out here. So now people begin to utilize that product. And if they love this product and you now have some other things in place where they can also purchase or they know you are there, your customer service is on point. Customer success has gone through the roof. It has happened. Now people utilize this product. You know, guess what? You all set this thing up ask for a testimonial ask them to provide you with a testimonial because you're going to need that for other customers or other clientele to come through the door remember that's also part of helping in the mentality of people purchasing your product okay and so what happens as well even when we have our loyal customers you all they begin to share what it is that you offer to other people all right. So there are multiple ways in which you are able to obtain um, customers, um, getting those customers to um, share with other customers, become advocates or provide word of mouth. And guess what? It still don't stop there.
because you still, if you are in business, remember, in order for that business to grow, there needs to be constant transactions happening. Either you have a membership and you're still providing things for people or you have product and you're still creating multiple products for people to purchase. People will come back for more if they are happy with what it is that you provided to them the first in the first place. All right. So now we have people who come back for more. All right. Them is the best. I'm going to tell you right now, those are the best clients. You want people to come back for more. All right. And then what you want to happen as they are spreading the word to other people, those other people um, love are loving it. And now they come back for more. And what do they do? They bring other people with them as well. All right. And so you have to be mindful of those things. So what are things in which you need to make sure that you have in place you all for people to come back and gather more? Well, like we said before, you want to make sure if you have a website, make sure it is consistently updated. All right. Um, make sure there's an area where people can send you a message and they can answer. You can answer questions. Make sure that you have a shop on that website where people are able to, you know, consistently purchase. Um, make it make it the process very easy for people. If you're on a social media platform, you all inside of your profile, make sure you have a link available where people can click on that link and find you. All right. Um, even though though you may not be able to talk to everyone, there are other things out there from many chats. I use many chats where people can leave you a DM or leave you a message inside of an inbox. And then that mini chat, which is a bot, um, can actually answer questions for you. It all depends on how you purpose your mini chat to do. Like for instance, you can have them to say, okay, if you have a question, type in the word question in the DM. Well, your mini chat can be triggered um, in regards to someone has a question. Um, and so that way it can begin to respond back to them, letting them know that you received that information. It could be also you put that mini chat, you put a keyword or trigger in that mini chat to say the word strategy. Someone types in the word strategy, what begins to happen? You can have it to where they now can obtain a worksheet or a downloadable automatically. This is where we talk about a business growing and it's growing while you're sleeping. All right. On top of that, you're staying consistent with your clientele. You do not want it to go to where people respond and leave a message for you in the DM um, on a Wednesday and you don't respond back to them until the Saturday. You do not want that. All right. Another thing that you can do, you all, is let people know, especially if they are on and you're connecting on social media, let them know that there are certain um, business hours and they can connect to you within one, one o'clock to three o'clock. You are on point. You are available. And that way you're conditioning your clients to letting you know that if they have a question, you are there between one and three. So automatically, remember the mentality of people, you have to let people know. All right. Now you're available or you have someone there that is available to answer their questions in the meantime. All right. And so these are the things we have to begin to look at you all because customers go through the buyer's process or the buyer's journey or the customer journey. We all do. You want to just make sure when it comes to your brand as part of your brand strategy that you have things already set up in place. So when the customers come through, all right, when they come through, it works seamlessly. Now, there'll be times when stuff don't just will fall apart. It just don't work. All right. But guess what? You can always go back and say, I am so sorry that you did not receive your product or you um, there was a glitch in the system. But let me do this for you. I'm going to give you this free consultation or I'm going to send you a sample of something in the mail. Um, expect it. Um, by such and such a date. There are things that you can do. All right. So once again, I don't want you to begin to think about why customers buy, but why customers do not buy. All right. It, there's a lot of ways and reasons why 
um, externally or internally why people don't. But the key thing is many times you all, when you show up and you are consistent and you get them to that place of, oh my goodness, are they always showing up in my feed or I'm always seeing them that this networking um, function. Um, they're always sharing about what it is that they provide, especially the people that want what it is that you have to offer. Remember, once again, everybody is not going to want your product. All right. Be OK with that um, and, and, and tell yourself and stay positive and say they may not want it, but I know there are people out here who do. All right. And so those those are other ways in which we can begin to connect to our customer, you all. But remember, never forget, once you connect and once they start to show some interest, once you are showing up consistently, they too go through a process. All right. Do that discovery call. Find out what it is that they want. Have something available where they can send you an email or send you a DM. Make it very specific. Put down some work hours so people can connect with you as well. All right. I'm going to stop right there. But remember, subscribe to this YouTube channel. Um, as well as like it, share it with other people. And I'll be back sharing more in regards to not only the customer journey or the buyer's process, you all, but how we begin to build our brand, our brand reputation, how people perceive us to be, how are we showing up positively and authentic, authentically in the marketplace, all right? So let's do this because at the end of the day, you want your business to grow and you want your business to thrive. Am I right? I know I'm right. All right. It's your girl, LaTanya. We'll talk again soon. Okay. Stay connected. Bye-bye.